And then the thing is that uh, the nature of the uh, profession make you be a corp in a corporate spotlight. For example, you're working with a, uh, the company with, with the 5,000 employees, you know, and I can tell you, uh, you may not know who, work in, who works in every department, but I certainly know who are the intern auditors are. <laughs> because intern auditors, because always, all the, departments. all the departments and things like that. I still remember. Uh, so that puts you in a corporate spotlight. From the driver up to the chairman will know you. Uh, so this it make them, uh, you become a trusted consultant. Your spotlight, that means that your career advancement are also there. Uh, many or many uh, many uh, people in uh, intern auditors have become CEOs. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I become a financial controller. Mm -hmm. When I was heading a department, people say, you're so good, you know, you're in a spotlight, they put you in. So uh, naturally, naturally, intern auditors are, are become a, a natural picked up for a senior management post. That's because of integrity that they have, mm -hmm. the objectivity, the quality of work they perform, you know, and you being in a corporate spotlight. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Okay. And the fourth one is that uh, it's also a career path that uh, one should take because um, because of your nature of your job that you in, you visited and audited entire company procedures you learn a lot mm -hmm. okay it makes you a more more informed person uh, more industry uh, it give you a lot of industry experts uh, knowledges and things like that uh, that make you. Uh, employability to a next level is very high. So I think this is something that very unique career whereby there is no other career in a corporate world. They give you this much of flexibilities. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, you just sit in the office, you have to go, if you're a person where you can go out and audit, you see different people, different day. It's not a routine job per se, you know. Mm -hmm. So people who like outdoor kind of things, I think internal audit is a profession that they should have Take a look at. Mm. It gives a sense of business acumen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, that's the right word. Business acumen in terms of, uh, for example, uh, for me, who was born in the city, mm -hmm. I never seen a palm oil tree in my life. So when my when I first started become a head of intern audit for a large uh, plantation group, they asked me to interview. Have you seen a palm tree? I said no. <laughs> but after my seven years of being there, I become an expert of palm plantation, mm -hmm. I can be able to match my, even can go to tactic, technical details look, by looking at the color of the, you know, now, color of the, you know, in and out, because I know oh, how, what the agronomy does, how many time you harvest, mm -hmm. what's the problem with the tree, where the rats are, mm -hmm. where the, <laughs> so you become experts in it. So, so in turn audit, you, 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 you're given this kind of a, a niche uh, knowledge, knowledge in your career. Give you the opportunity. Yes, opportunity more and more, mm -hmm. more and more. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a more towards, uh, it's a profession for those who seek adventures, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've been, uh, you know, I've, I'm using binoculars in my career, you know, you know, to see where the movement of shipment and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very, it's a CID, come this, come that. <laughs> So it's a very adventurous it's career. Like just in the of course, of course, it is not. It is not. It is not. So people out there, the younger generation, you know, who, who feel that it's a job for them. I think there, as a criteria I mentioned, is is a very attractive job opportunities uh, that you all they should they should emulate. Oh, at least take a look, give a chance. Um, <laughs> definitely interesting for those who want to have that sort of adventure. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. As I, as I said, uh, when it comes to government sectors, um, honestly, honestly speaking, that uh, uh, the, the 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 current uh, practice is that uh, we have a Jabata Audit Nagara mm -hmm. that will audit uh, all the government and departments and and, and uh, institutes and whatnot, but. The Jabata Audit Nagara work is more on external audit role, external audit role, In, per se, because it's compared to private sector. Each and every ministries were 
will have their own intern audit team. Okay, each and every ministry have their own intern audit team. For example, UKM, they have their own intern audit team. Uh, uh, if I if I'm if I'm right. So uh, the thing is that uh, the intern audit team uh, also uh, reports directly to the KSU of of each ministry. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that was the practice now. Okay. So, uh, independence part of sake and, and also the governance points of view, that doesn't jive well in, in, a, in a common practice. I've highlighted this issue some time ago. Um, the thing is that uh, KSU is like a CEO for a ministry. You can say that. Mm -hmm. He or she are the controller of the funds. Okay. And, and intern auditors uh, uh, were to check on the each proceeding of the ministries mm -hmm. and report back to the KSU. Mm -hmm. okay. Then who checks on KSU? So that's the question came into picture because you're executive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So normally we in, in this particular case, we don't call the role that they're being performed at the government intern audit functions, not as intern audit function internal control functions. These are two distinctive, uh, distinctive roles. Eh? Internal auditors are those who provide uh, independent assurance to stakeholders other than the company executives. Internal controllers okay, are those who give independent assurance to the executive of the companies. For example, CEO. I'm a CEO of a company. I inside go and check and come back. So that is more like an internal control checking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a two different because I came from an organization that we have two. Okay. okay. For example, a CEO say that I don't to wait until an internal auditor come and tell me what's wrong. I want my own team to find out first. Okay. okay? So those are the functions being uh, that being performed at the at the internal audit function in the government uh, per se. Okay. So uh, what, what we're trying to emulate is that um, uh, when it comes to government auditing, uh, we want more and more transparent when it comes to uh, internal audit functions. Uh, we want uh, instead from the internal auditors in the, in, in the government ministries to report to a committee rather than to KSU. Some, some organizations in the government do have that. For example, uh, LSDN, IRB. Mm -hmm. IRB have their own board, mm -hmm. their own audit committee that, that perform those duties, but not all. Eh? Not all. Mm -hmm. So I think these are the things that we go to instill in the conference, mm -hmm. in the public sector conference on how to, how to move forward with this. Um, uh, because uh, uh, for information, the, the Jabata Audit only come and audit every 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> There are so many things with the, with, the, with the limited resources they have. Mm -hmm. So the internal audit function in each ministry is very, very important. That's why we have a lot of, lot of cases uh, involving the ministries that involve in KSU, you know, mm -hmm. uh, case of, of, of CBT involving mm -hmm. them. Because there's no proper check and balance. Uh, you know, how do I internal auditors report direct to the KSU want to audit the KSU himself? So that's where the and the independence is not there. Mm -hmm. So throughout this conference, we try to uh, emulate those practices and, and things like that. It's going to be a long shot because government mechanism won't, won't simply change. You know, one since you brought up the issue of Bursa Malaysia make it compulsory, mm -hmm. Bursa Malaysia make audit committee compulsory back in 1993. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. If you all know, yes. you know, I was yes. still in my form two or form three. That <laughs> <laughs> you know. And, and when it came to picture, there wasn't an uh, internal audit department, say. So the, the audit committee we went compulsory at that time. And it took almost 20 years for internal audit to be function to make compulsory in the 2009. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and I still remember my, my company, my previous company, have an internal audit function uh, only back in year 2000. Mm -hmm. Listed company, you know. Some companies, uh, they have it uh, longer, but they don't call it internal auditors, they call it internal controllers. Mm -hmm. you know? Or they call it surveillance department. Mm -hmm. Or they call it compliance department. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is for own, uh, own, for own sake, eh? uh, this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, but we, we have to move, uh, we have to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. As I say, you have to start somewhere in order to, as I said that, as I said that in order to get uh, investors' confidence to raise our foreign direct investment, you have to have a high level of corporate governance, both in private sector and also in a in a public gov uh, uh, government governance, you know, mm -hmm. without that, you know, we we, we can't uh, uplift ourselves economically. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, um, there's a lot of questions. You you have um, managed to actually give up a very a good view on these questions. Yep. Um, we really would like to thank you. Oh, thank you so <laughs> <for> much. <this laughs> you know, thank you so on. much sure. for sharing. Okay. Right. Okay. So I go. Thank you. Thank you.